What do you think, guys? One Honda ninety, nearly one hundred percent complete. Um, just a few minor things. Been having a few issues with um, it, it stalling when I take it out for a spin. I think it might be the float level needs setting on it. Sometimes it's hard to start. I don't know why. I'm not an engine expert. Um, and I'm waiting on a chain guard, which is the last piece that it needs. Unfortunately, when I went to do the seals last night, which I did do, um, I thought that that would, was the end of the leakage problems. And I put it in the shed after taking it out for a spin and went in a little bit later on and I seen oil lying on the ground. Um, you can probably see it there on the floor, just that little drop there. And I wondered what the hell be causing that now, because I'd done the seals, maybe I'd done them wrong. So I took this cover off again and looked in behind the sprocket and the seal was dry, but there was still oil. And I couldn't understand where the oil was coming from. So I took the sprocket off again. And if I can just find the piece, um, one second I'll go into my shed here and see if I put it on the table or anything don't know what I've done with it now uh, not seeing it here anyway look there was a bit of a key ring here it is this little bit of a key ring was put in behind the sprocket I says that's weird why would you have a key ring put in behind the sprocket and then I realised that there was a tiny, tiny hole in the casing itself, in behind the sprocket. So the person that sold my friend this bike knew that that was there, and they put this here, there, to keep the chain from going over too far, to make it any worse. So, now we've got an issue. We have a hole to fill, and... I stuck an extra, um, the old seal just in front of the new one to keep the chain away from it. Hopefully it's doing the right job. So I guess the only option I have now is to try a bit of JB welding hole and see if it works. Uh, other than that, it's take the whole engine out of the bike, take the seal out of it again, heat up the aluminium and brace it and... It's just a lot of work. So I'm going to try the JB Weld first and see how I get on. And hopefully that will be the end of that and it'll work. But, um, it's just a pity after getting this far with the bike to realise that there's a problem like that. Um, as for the reason why it's stopping, I don't know. Sometimes I'll hit the kickstart and it won't turn over at all. For a few kicks, it'll just, uh, you'll hear this kind of whining well it's running now so I, I don't know sometimes it'll just it won't even turn it over it'll just kick but it won't turn over so I don't know what the issue is there the clutch is pretty far gone it's starting to slip and I did try and adjust it here but it's at the full of what it can go to so that's going to be an issue as well in the future but it's okay for now Got the new seat on and everything, and it looks good. Um, it's just those few issues to sort out. And that's it. So, that's your update on the Cub 90. Hope you like what you see.